let us open our Bible and go to chapter 17 of uh, Revelation. Ulu padu sum pun ada amat tiada itu lagi. Anda mungkin tiri. Kali ni ada dua hari sekalam. Jangan ini dalam samsari kita orang firman itu. I did some homework, read so many uh, things regarding this and uh, uh, the commentaries and the uh, study Bibles and all the other stuff. I looked into it and uh, because many of the commentators, they are uh, wonderful people of the Lord. They all said, these two chapters are very difficult. And you know, it's a, this is a, uh, uh, every uh, chapters in, especially in the apocalyptic books are difficult, but especially these two chapters. But then um, I, I'm not going to talk about different opinions of anyone. I'm going to talk about what I learned when I was in Sunday school and uh, you know, why, well, while I was growing up, that's what I'm going to talk about. And uh, uh, may the Lord help us uh, to understand his word. <coughs> oh, 17 verse 1 and 2. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven balls came and spoke with me, saying, Come here. I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth committed acts of immorality, and those who dwell on the earth were made drunk with the wine of her immorality. Uh, it's, uh, there is no controversy or uh, different opinion about this. This is John writing that uh, he was uh, shown the visions of the um, uh, the uh, vowel judgment and one of the seven angels who showed him who was uh, involved in that uh, 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 visions he came and uh, told him come here I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters with whom the kings of the earth committed Acts of immorality and those who committed, those who dwell on the earth were made drunk with uh, the wine of her immorality. First uh, uh, part, John was told to come, I will show you the judgment of uh, a particular person. Up to there, there is no, no, no ambiguity. So it's chapter 17 and it's chapter 18 talk about God's judgment on a system and a city called Babylon. So when we uh, look and learn about the, uh, the Babylonian system, that is one thing. And the Babylon, we know that it was an empire. And the Babylon, from the beginning, from Genesis onwards, the Babylonian system is going in the world, especially this system uh, stays against the, uh, the God and uh, the word of God and all that we believe dearly in our life. This is the worldly system. So, <clears throat> This um, judgment, it is a more detailed description of the seventh while, you know, the bowel judgment. So with that, all the judgment are done. That is what we, we read. Everything is done. Now, Jesus Christ is coming to, uh, going to come to the earth. But this is part of that, the judgment of the Babylonian system, these empires, these kings, this is all part of that judgment. So, <coughs> the great harlot is 
we uh, read in verse 1, named as Babylon the Great in verse 5. So this is not a small thing. It's a, it, it's a, a great thing uh, in the word of God. So this is a lady, a, we know, a harlot, a... Um, We see here it's a uh, the harlot. It, it says uh, says there. So uh, she's uh, there's, there's a woman sits. Uh, first, uh, it is said that she, he sits on many waters. And verse 15 of this chapter uh, tells us what are what is the waters. So let's look into that. Verse 15, and then the angel said, and he said to me, the waters which you saw where the harlot sits are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So she sits on the whole world, the people, the multitude, nations, and uh, uh, the tongues. And he sits, then we see that he sits on a beast, a scarlet beast. Scarlet is red colored beast. So we see this woman sits on many waters, and then is, uh, it is revealed that he sits on a beast. <coughs> so when uh, we are told that uh, this, uh, uh, lady is sitting on many waters. Uh, it represents various peoples and um, nations. She sits on them in the sense that she has worldwide influence. She influences all the, all the world. This, we are talking about uh, in lo locality-wise, we talk, this is uh, in the Middle East and uh, Bab, we know where is Babylon. It's a, it was a city uh, near the Euphrates River. And uh, uh, also, we know that at the end uh, time, the, the world uh, empires. And uh, I, I was waiting for Kichu to take, take that that uh, class again, that uh, we know that uh, this world, world won't go like this. It, it, it starts from a, um, um, uh, Egypt, and then that was the first uh, empire we read about in the Bible, then Assyria, and then after that, Babylon came. You know that that is where uh, the prophecy uh, starts in in Daniel chapter two, uh, and, uh, Daniel, and uh, Daniel chapter seven. We are told these five, uh, four kingdoms after uh, Assyria, five empires or five kingdoms will come, and uh, then. Uh, uh, there is another kingdom will come. The uh, God, Lord, will. It's, it's actually from there. It's a four kingdoms, and we have the in Malayalam. There is a song called the Ancham Rajida Mundagami. That's the fifth kingdom will be the kingdom of God. That is what we are all waiting for. Uh, that is how the prophecy goes for this world. So it, this world won't go like this forever and ever and ever. So God puts people on, on, the, uh, on the rule in this world. Daniel Daniel 
ഡാനിയലിനോട് പറഞ്ഞു ഈ ആക്ച്വലി ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് റിവീൽ ടു കിങ് നബുക്കൻ സർ ബട്ട് ത്രൂ ഡാനിയൽ ദാറ്റ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് കിങ്ഡം ഇസ് ബാബിലോൺ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ അനദർ കിങ്ഡം വിൽ കം മീഡോ പേർഷ്യ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ അനദർ വിൽ കം ഗ്രീസ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ അനദർ വിൽ കം ഇറ്റ്സ് എ റോം and after that after the roman empire uh, the lord god in heaven will bring another kingdom another empire that will fill all the earth and that is the end of the gender rules in the world but we know that uh, when our lord came into this world the roman empire was on rule and that when when we talk about dispensation we uh, we can see that god stopped that dispensation of law and then he started a new dispensation we read it in a, uh, in the bible itself even the the, dis, uh, the new dispensation about the new dispensation and that is the dispensation of grace that grace is a that dispensation or that uh, time of the that time is a bracket period we are all told in our sunday school and all uh, uh, the after the roman empire um, empire uh, it it ceased to exist some after 500 500 years somewhere around 500 years the roman empire ceased to exist exist and uh, then another group of people came there are kings there are uh, there are all all this mixture of things and then came a uh, a a system called uh, what we no uh, no now is the um, is the what is that democracy. democracy democracy and then there is a in in these democracies and there is a system called communism and uh, there is even the kings uh, and uh, it, it's a uh, uh, they have the uh, kings and uh, uh, what it e rajakanmarum swachadhivadigalaya bharanadhikarigal ellam kodulla oru oru misrudamaaya oru bharanamana ippozhum logathil nadannondirikkunnathu ennale devathinte vajanam anusarichu കർത്താവിൻ്റെ പ്ര ദൈവം ദാനിയലിന് വെളിപ്പെടുത്തി കൊടുത്തത് മാത്രമല്ല തൻ്റെ പ്രവാചകന്മാർക്ക് വെളിപ്പെടുത്തി കൊടുത്തിയ കൊടുത്ത ആ ഭരണക്രമം വരണമെങ്കിൽ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ രാജ്യം ഈ ഭൂമിയിൽ വരണം കർത്താവ് ഈ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഭരണത്തെ എല്ലാം മാറ്റിയിട്ട് പുതിയൊരു രാജ്യം ഈ ഭൂമിയിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരും അങ്ങനെ ഈ ഇവിടെ നാം കാണുന്നത് ഈ രണ്ട് ഒന്നും രണ്ടും വാക്യങ്ങളിൽ ഒരു Uh, this um harlot uh, is sitting on a scarlet beast uh, she is sitting on many waters and uh, uh, she has the influence on the uh, whole earth because she sits on the many waters and she sits on the last empire so we'll, we'll come to that uh, but we know that roman roman uh, empire ceased to exist by five after 500 574 or some 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 time and we don't see roman empire as roman empire now it's a mixed government all over the world but you know this is a uh, 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 lord god opened a new era for the people for all the people jews gentiles and uh, uh, he brought another group of people called the church of god uh, which is we are part of that and then all these three groups are still going on in this world and we know that it will go like this until when when the rapture 
comes, when the rapture comes, he will separate these three groups, like from the from Jews and Gentiles, they he called from these two groups a third group called the church. And when the Lord Jesus Christ come, he will remove his church, the true church, from this world, and then all these other prophecy he told in Daniel and Revelation, and with all the other prophets. Uh, so many other prophets talked about the day of the day and all those things. All those things come into, uh, into exists and uh, it will go. And then finally, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ come into the earth. Uh, that's what uh, Preston read in chapter 17. So he is going to come and uh, uh, he will going to rule uh, this earth. Let's, uh, uh, let's read uh, some of these verses. And uh, uh, John was, uh, verse 3. And he carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting in a scarlet beast full of blasphemous names, having seven heads and ten horns. So here several uh, uh, things are introduced. One is the, uh, the, this woman, and then the scarlet beast then he on him or he is it says about the beast it is saying it there is it is full of blasphemous names and then it says seven heads and ten horns so that is in that beast this woman sits and uh, uh, we are coming to that uh, that beast soon The kings and the inhabitants of the earth um, opened their arm and uh, uh, they welcomed this lady and she had a lot of influence over them. So then now we come, come to the, uh, um, the kings of the earth. And she was wearing elegant clothing and uh, jewelry, uh, 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 and then it shows that she has a lot of money, and uh, 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 she may be very attractive, uh, and wealth, uh, but, but uh, her activities are filthy and uh, abominable to God. That is why she is called a harlot. Uh, and then she, her immorality, she gives this to the, the rulers of this, this earth. That is what we read uh, uh, from 4 and, uh, and 6. The ancient Babylon is a type of this future Babylon. And we know that we are talking about Babylon. This immoral lady Otherwise, it is known as the Babylon. Uh, we know that ancient Babylon from Nimrod onwards, and then the Nebuchadnezzar, and uh, we know what happened, all those things. The harlot will do lit, uh, what literal Babylon did in the, in the past. Like... Uh, he opposes God's people and propagate a false religious system. That is what going to do. And this is still in future. Our Lord is not came. We are not raptured here. We are still in the bracket period of the uh, dispensation of grace. So, but soon our Lord will come for the church and then the, this part of the of the Bible is going to start to fulfill. Much of the world's Id idolatry can be traced back to the historical Babylon. Uh, we we 
touched that on the last, uh, last, last time, uh, including the mother-child uh, cult. We know that uh, Semiramis and Tammuz, which extended to other cultures as Ashtaroth and, and Baal, Aphrodite and Eros, Venus and Cupid, and even Madonna Child, you know, we, this, is, this all crept even into the, into the Christendom. And I talked about in, in India what happened, in, in our uh, side what happened. As the fountainhead of uh, idolatry, ba Babylon, the harlot, is the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. That is why it is, or it is written in the bold letters there. Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and the abomination of the earth. <coughs> Babylon has killed many God's people all time. Uh, the saints. And throughout the ages, and will do again in the last uh, part of that Babylonian system. So this Babylonian system is against God and against God's people. And uh, this is going to happen in the near future. That's what, so let's go read to seven and eight. Last, last, last week we didn't read any of these words. So let, let us uh, read seven and eight. So, when I saw her, I wondered greatly. And the angel said to me, Why you wonder? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and ten horns. Yeah, this is what we want to know. Who is this woman? And who is this uh, the, the beast? Uh, and we, uh, we know that the beast has seven heads and ten horns horns and all. <coughs> From now to the end of this chapter 17, uh, contain a more detailed ex explanation of the, uh, of the entities depicted uh, symbolically as a woman and the beast. From here onwards, uh, uh, the angel is explaining to John what he saw. What are the um, uh, woman and the, the beast and all. The beast as an empire. Uh, uh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. Uh, verse 8 we can read. Verse 8 we read that the beast that you saw was and is not and is about to come out of the abyss and go to destruction. It, it's talking about this beast. He is telling that the beast you, uh, the beast you saw was. That means this beast was before. But it is not now. It is the beast was and is not, and is about to come out of the abyss and go to destruction. This is the, these are the uh, the things uh, um, the angel talked to John about this beast. So this beast is um, the the Roman Empire. So you stay with me and. Uh, I will explain that which I, I knew uh, when I, while I was growing up. Uh, so this empire goes through four stages from the, it's a viewpoint of the beginning of the tribulation. This, this is not now, it's now, now these things are not happening. Uh, we are in the, in the dispensation of grace. Uh, even though so many evil things happening in this world, uh, the Holy Spirit is living in the church, living in us, each one of us. He is here in this world, 
so the god is with he is still our lord is in control so this abomination or the the things we talked about is not going to happen now but even the the uh, the evil things are still we, we can see everywhere when you read the news and it, we can see the evil going on so uh, let me uh, explain so the the angel uh said to um john one first it was the beast was that's what we read there that is it existed in the form of <coughs> ancient roman empire when our lord jesus christ was here uh you know that's that is the, 2000 years the roman roman people were uh as a an empire they were ruling the world so it was and then it, when he says it is not that is it has not existed as an empire, empire since the 5th century now when we are talking about our viewpoint there is no roman empire even though that systems uh, so many things uh, we use it as uh you know in in uh, all the systems the even the mail system and uh, all the uh, the law and order and all they say it's all comes from the roman system we can see those things uh here now but as a roman empire there is no such thing so it, it is not and then it says that it is about to come up out of the abyss or bottomless pit that is what uh, we read in chapter 8 uh, the beast that you saw was is not and is about to come up out of the abyss and go to destruction and he comes once once again the roman empire will come and he go to destruction when we talk about the empire it's a uh, it is about uh the king or the kings of the empire also that is how the the word of god uh here he says uh, uh it's uh, like he goes or it the the beast uh the empire was there and 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 we know that the king or the ruler of this empire ultimately it will be antichrist we know that and those who dwell on earth whose name was not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world will wonder when they see the beast that he was and is not and will come when the unregenerated unbelievers see these things happening when the god's people are gone from here they will see then they will wonder what is happening in the world then uh, uh, here he says that verse 9 here is the mind which has wisdom the seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman woman sits and they are and they are seven kings five have fallen one is other one one is the other is not yet to come and when he comes he must remain a little while so we we know that he, uh, in verse 8 we read that the antichrist or the uh, the head of the the roman empire will go to destruction um and the verse 9 the seven head of the beast is rep, uh, represented seven min- mountains on which the woman sits that is what we read ഏഴ് തലകൾ ഏഴ് 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 പർവ്വതങ്ങൾ നല്ല ഏത് മല ഏഴ് മലകൾ ഓൺ വിച്ച് ദ വുമൻ സെറ്റ്സ് ദ വി നോ ദാറ്റ് ദ സിറ്റി റോം വാസ് നോൺ ത്രൂ ഔട്ട് ദ ആൻഷ്യൻറ്റ് വേൾഡ് ദാറ്റ് ദ സിറ്റി ബിൽട്ട് ഓൺ സെവൻ ഹിൽസ് ഓർ seven mountains here apostle john says 
here is the mind which has wisdom the wise mind will make proper identification of the woman uh, apparently uh, the woman rep- represents the idolatrous anti god civilization centered at rome so even though we uh, we were talked about the uh, the beast this is talking about rome and this is talking about the harlot the identification of seven heads as rome shows that the beast will have his major base of operation at rome you know that uh, the last empire which is to come is the revived roman empire because we cannot call that empire with any other name name because uh, daniel says that it's only babylon media persia greece and uh, rome and after that there is no uh, no other name was given to another world empire the next empire he said was the world, uh, the uh, the god's kingdom so <coughs> Uh, 1710 1710 let's let's read let's let's stop uh, let's uh, finish this uh, chapter today the seven heads and are seven mountains on which the woman sits and they are see there there are seven kings five have fallen one is the other has not yet come and when he comes he must remain a little while the beast which was and is not is himself also an eighth and is one of the seven and goes to destruction so we read up 10 and 11 the seven kings may represent most likely the seven kingdoms or empires that throughout history uh, have ruled over israel and much of the known world they are as i told you Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, Medo-Persia, Greece, Rome. And the uh, next one will be the revived Roman Empire. We know that when Antichrist come, there will be Rome as a revived Roman Empire. Of, uh, it, it is in the tribulation period we, we see that. So then it says that five are fallen. That means five are passed. And one is... is that is the when uh, john is given this um, uh, this prophecy of the roman empire was existing and the seventh is re- revived re- revived roman empire is not yet come you know that when we talk about daniel's uh, image there is 10 kings at the toe 10 kings where when that 10 kings we we read that uh, in in the rule of these kings when malayalathil parnjale ee rajakan marade kaalathu athinudanaya devam orikkel ilagathe oru rajyam saavikum so the 10 we are talking about the 10 uh, uh, toes uh, one is the uh, ex- and the revived roman empire is not yet come but it is going to come the revived roman empire is represented in daniel by the 10 toes in the image of daniel in chapter 2 and the 10 horns of the fourth beast of daniel chapter 7 and in revelation by the 10 horns of the first beast of chapter 13 we we looked into that also we know that uh, this there was talking about a beast with 10 horns it will exist as a short a while since uh, given since uh, uh, his authority is given their authority is given to the beast 
So, in the revived Roman Empire or nest Roman form of existence, the rule, the empire, there will be ten kings. That is, go with the uh, Daniel's visions, and here also, here we said this uh, beast has seven head and ten horns. In Daniel chapter seven, that beast has also ten horns, and the ten horns are ten kings. <coughs> and these kings, let's let's read a few more verses. And seven kings, uh, number uh, verse ten. And there are seven kings. Five have fallen. One is the other has not yet come. And when he comes, he must remain a little while. The beast which was and is not and is himself, also the eighth and one of seven, and he goes to destruction. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings who have not yet received kingdom, but they received authority as kings with the beast for an hour. So, next empire, the Roman empire, or the revived Roman empire, has ten kings. That's what we we have taught that there is a ten nation confederacy or Desha Rashtra Sangharana and okay Namala Pravena Padik Pikinor Paranjitunda. E Patu Rajak and Marada Karata Ivere Iverka in the ten horns which you saw are ten kings who has not yet received kingdom, but they receive authority as kings with the beast for one hour. They have a short span of rule in uh, in this world, and then they give uh, the power and authority to the beast, and, uh, and have one purpose, and they give their power and authority to the beast. This, these ten kings have the same thoughts same purposes and they give the, their power and authority to the beast. The beast is the head of the uh, uh, the Roman, not the Roman Empire, the beast we talk about, this is the chapter 13 of the um, revelation that is Antichrist. That is how these ten kings also will have a little time to rule with the Antichrist. The Antichrist, when he comes, he is going to take over the whole world. The, uh, that uh, ruler will take over the whole world and uh, these kings will give their authority to them and then that's where uh, Preston read that um, uh, verse. These will wage war against the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them, because He is the Lord and Lo Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And those who are with Him are called the chosen and faithful. These ten kings and the Antichrist, what is there? They are going to war against Christ, the Lamb who is coming. That we will see in uh, chapter 19. Uh, uh, let me read uh, the rest of the uh, chapter and uh, we're going to start, stop here. And he said to me, The waters which you saw where the harlot sits are peoples and multitude and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which you saw, the beast, these will hate the harlot and will make her desolate and uh, naked and will eat her flesh and will burn her up with fire. For God has put it in their hearts to execute His purpose by having common purpose and by giving their kingdom to the beast until the words of the words of God will be fulfilled. The woman whom you saw is the great city which reigns over the king, kings of the earth. And the ten horns which you saw and the beast uh, this will hate the harlot and will make her desolate and naked. We know we, last week I, I told this uh, Babylon is two things. 
that is one is the religious babylon and the other one is the political babylon the religious babylon is the uh, is the prostitute sitting on the on this uh, beast and first she has control over this kings and all and at the end here it says that and the 10 horns which you saw and the beast this will hate the harlot and will make her desolate and naked and will eat her flesh and burn her up with fire this religious system in rome uh, uh, was taken over by this uh, ten kings and uh, they will destroy the, destroy her and then uh, it's it says that for god has put in their hearts to execute his purpose so god will uh, god has the intention to uh, destroy this woman uh, to giving the kingdom to the beast until the word and the words of the god, words of god will be fulfilled and then the woman whom you saw is the great city which reigns over the kings of the earth so chapter 18 is talking about the destruction of the commercial babylon this um we don't know where this is but many uh, people think that this is the a rebuilt babylon in a, in the original babel ba- babylon so there it's a commercial babylon so the the beast the antichrist has all the power and uh, all this commerce and the commodities they they had they had trade and all we we read in 18 that in one hour it's all will be destroyed so oh, please go and read chapter 18 and we will uh, we'll look into next time chapter 18 is the destruction of the commercial babylon and then uh, finally we will see that the antichrist and his cohorts all the kings and kingdoms of the earth will be destroyed by our lord jesus christ and he is going to come chapter 19 we are waiting for that praise the lord let's pray